Shri Prayatul Shri Krishna, Navai Payantim Apichita Kavayetta Vesha, Brahmaya Sati Kritam Ridam Smaranta, Antar Bahis, Ridit Matam Asubam Vinasam, Acharya Babus Swagatam Vina. Hey Bhagavan, even if I had a very long lifespan, no poet could completely explain your mercy because you appear in two forms to deliver the souls back to the spiritual world. One form is internal and the other form is external. The internal form he is called Chaiti Guru, Paramatma. In Bhagavad Gita, Sri Krishna says, Sarvasya Chaham Ridi Sanivisto, Mata Smriti Gyanam Abhohanam Scha. O Arjuna, I am in the heart of every living entity. From me comes knowledge, remembrance, and forgetfulness. So Paramatma is in the heart of every living entity. No matter which form of life the jiva takes, even as an animal, plant, demigod, if the jiva goes to hell, Paramatma is there with him. But one problem is there. Paramatma is neutral, Shakshi. Also, Jeev Shakshad Nahita Te Guru Chaitanu Antajami Bhakta Shresh Eidu Because we cannot hear the voice of Paramatma, so Paramatma comes externally and takes a form before us. Who is that? That is Sri Guru Dev. Therefore, Krishna says, Acharyanam Majanyam Nava Manyatta Karichit Namati Buddha Sutya Sara Deva Mayo Guru. Krishna says, I am the Guru. Krishna himself appears in the form of the spiritual master in order to deliver the conditioned souls back to Godhead. Therefore, Namati Buddha Sutena, one should never consider Guru Dev to be an ordinary mortal being possessed of a body made of the five elements. Who is Guru Dev? He is the mercy incarnation of the Supreme Lord. Therefore, Guru Dev is also called Asrai Bhagavan. Guru Dev is that form of Bhagavan in which the Jivas take shelter. Therefore, that person who wants the mercy of Krishna, he has to come to Guru because Guru himself is the condensed personification of the mercy of Sri Krishna. Therefore, Yasya Prasadam, Bhagavat Prasadam, Yasya Aprasadam, Nagati Kutopi. Because Guru Dev is the direct manifestation of the Supreme Lord, when he is pleased, Krishna is automatically pleased. And when he is displeased, Nagati Kutopi, the disciple cannot make any advancement whatsoever. Therefore, the disciples should never, even in dreams, consider Guru Dev to be an ordinary soul. Even you cannot call Guru Dev Jiva. Guru Dev is a separate tattva. So he is an eternal associate of the Supreme Lord. And as an eternal associate of God Nityananda, he has come to this world to deliver the souls back to Godhead. Therefore, the mercy of God Nityananda Guru, the mercy do we buy a chum the mercy of the true brother, Chaitanya Nityananda, do we buy a chamatka, do we bhagavate shanga, kori shakshatka. The mercy of the Supreme Lord Goranga and Nityananda. What is their mercy? Their mercy is you can meet the two forms of Bhagavatam. One is the book Bhagavatam, but the real Bhagavatam is the Bhakta Bhagavatam. Therefore, from the mouth of the devotee, Guru Dev, we receive the instructions of the Supreme Lord. One more thing, then I'll finish. Srila Bhaktivedanta Swami Maharaj, Srila Prabhupada, used to explain Guru Dev is a transparent via medium. Means what? Just like if there's a window, I can see out through the window. And those outside can look through the window to what I'm doing. How do we know what is the desire of the Supreme Lord? We have come to serve Krishna, but what service Krishna wants from us? How will we know? Therefore Krishna will instruct us through the mouth of Guru Dev. And how will we serve Krishna? I don't know about you, but I've never seen him. How we can serve Bhagawan who is beyond our mind and senses? Therefore Bhagawan has taken the form of Guru Dev in order to accept our service. Therefore through Guru Dev the mercy of Krishna comes to us and through our service to Guru Dev our service reaches the Supreme Lord. So we are very lucky we have come here to hear. So Guru Dev always says make sure it doesn't go in out one ear and out the other. At the end of the class we shouldn't ask how was the class? Oh great class. What did he say? I don't know I forgot. So we come here very carefully. 
and everything we should hear, Guru Mahajoy says, we should hear to follow, not just hear to hear. Therefore, disciple means who follows the instructions of Guru Dev. So we've all come here for the next seven days. We get a chance to dedicate ourselves to the Supreme Lord through faith and shelter of the bona fide Guru. Go Premanandu. First of all, I offer my most humble obeisances unto the Lord's feet. Of my Nikhil Guru, Parampun Yupad Param, Aradya Tsisimad, Nisi Bhakti Vedanta Swami Prabhupada. And then again, I offer my equal humble obeisances unto the Lord's feet of my Shikshan Sanyas Guru, Parampun Yupad Tsisimad, Bhakti Vedanta Narayan Goswami Maharaj. And unto all of the Vaishnavas and Vaishnavis headed by the Sanyasi Dhan, Brahmachari, Vaishnavi, Vrindavad Pranam. Another point that I would like to make is something that Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur talks about in the Bhakti Tattva Vedek, which is a very important point in these present times. That if one does not have Sarup Gyan, if one has a desire to cross over the ocean of birth and death in the material world, but he has not yet received Sarup Gyan, even, even if he is duly initiated by a bona fide Acharya and a bona fide Sampradaya, but he does not yet have his Sarup Gyan, then he must receive it from a Shiksha Guru. This instruction is given by Shri Bhakti Vinodha Kaur Bhakti Tattva Vedek. And this way he will get his Vastu Prabha. So it is very important to understand that even though we are properly initiated, there are many devotees who are disciples uh, of Srila Prabhupada who have been initiated. But yet their knowledge of Krishna consciousness is not complete. Therefore, without the Surya, they must get the complete knowledge from the association of the present manifest Acharya, the Shiksha Guru, Srila Bhakti Vinanta Narayan Goswami Maharaj. The Shiksha Guru should be equal in quality to the Diksha Guru. There is one time Shri Prabhupada was giving lecture and he said, if a person wants to become a doctor, he cannot become a doctor simply by reading a book. He will have to go to the university and learn from the professors and read the book there. And then he will get his degree and become a doctor. So the disciple then asked to the Prabhupada, so if someone doesn't understand your book, does that mean they have to come to you, the author, to understand your book? The Prabhupada said, no, no. Not that you have to come to the author, but anyone who knows the subject matter. In other words, someone equal to him who knows the subject matter, a Shiksha Guru. If you go to him, he can explain. Then, the disciple asks, oh, what about your purports? Can we understand by reading your purport? Srila Prabhupada said, no, no. If you do not understand what is in my book, then you have to go to someone who knows the subject matter. He can explain. It is very important to understand. The Srimad Bhagavatam is the sound incarnation of Krishna. But, the sound incarnation of Krishna cannot be understood directly by the senses of a conditioned soul. He must hear it from the transcendental sound vibration from the lotus lips of the sadhu, who has not any contamination of the modes of material nature. If you are chanting your japa and you are chanting namapara, the holy name is also the sound incarnation of Krishna. If you are chanting Namapara, either orally, loudly, or silently in your mind, then when you chant the verses of Bhagavatam, you will also be doing Apara. You cannot chant your name unless, or pure, pure verses of the Bhagavad, unless you hear from the transcendental sound vibration from the lotus lips of the Sadhu. The Sadhu is in direct contact with the Supreme Personality of Godhead. 
When he speaks Srimad Bhagavatam, or even if he speaks the most simple, routine, apparently mundane speech, like, hello, how are you? You should understand that it is filled with the ras and the ba of praying in relationship to Radha Krishna Lila. You should understand the juice and the nectar of transcendental ecstasy that is always emanating from the lotus lips of the sadhu. This is not a mundane sound vibration. This is a transcendental sound vibration. And only when we come in contact with hearing the transcendental sound vibration from the lotus lips of the sadhu can the subtle body gradually dissolve and the spiritual body manifest and then we can obtain our sarupyana. So those who have not obtained sarupyana, even though duly initiated by a bona fide guru and a bona fide sampradaya, must get it from the Shiksha Guru, who is presently now the most the Vaishnava Sarvabhoma, the commander in chief of all Vaishnavas in the world, Shiva Bhaktivedanta Narayan Goswami. In the end, I want to say to you that they have told about Guru. When a man or woman realizes that this world is misery for me, every man suffering suffering. No one happy by wealth, by possession, by beautiful question to solve. You must go to a real life. And what is the symptom of Guru? They have all told. First, if anyone is surrendered to Krishna, then as a Shakti Guru, he inspires. Oh, he is bona fide. Without the inspiration of Krishna, you cannot judge yourself because you are not in that state that you can decide. Give up everything if you have a strong desire to serve Krishna. Pray, meditate, Krishna. Oh, Krishna. I want to do your service. Please direct me. And then he, in Gita, he has told, Tesham Sapad Juktanam Bhajatam Priti Purpukam Buddhi Yogam Dadami Buddhi Yogam Yema. So Krishna has himself said. So, you know that. Guru, Antar and Padya, inward and outwardly he gives that knowledge. In Madhva Sampradaya, Brahma Madhva Sampradaya, Madhvendra Puri, Madhvendra Puri Path came. Madhvendra Puri Path is told, uh, first proud of and from then, Iswarpuripat and then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu himself, then Sarup Damodar, Raya Ramananda, Saragur Swami, Rup Sanatan, and then Vishwanathya Pratya Chakra. After that came uh, Narutam Thakur and then Vishwanathya Pratya Chakra, Balde Vidya Abhusha. And in this line, Jagannath Das Baba Maharaj, Siddha Bhakti Vinod Thakur, Siddha Prabhupada. And from Prabhupada, our Guru Dev, and Sri Bhakti Vedanta Swami Maharaj, and so many his disciples. And after that in line, we are coming. We are very fortunate that we are in Chaitanya Mahaprabhu line. In this line, especially what? 
उज्जवल उन्नत रस पर की भाव दिस लाइन इट इज नॉट फाउंड इन एनी संप्रदाय एनी वेयर ओनली स्पेशली इन चैतन्य महापुरुष संप्रदाय सो आर्टिकल उठाटोल टू गोपीस उठाव संदेश इन सुमत भागवत अर्जुन इन गीता so many kinds of knowledge and then mahaprabhu directly told uh ru goswami sanatan goswami raghunath das goswami rajamananda all and all came in the throat of raghunath das goswami and by the help inspiration of raghunath das goswami krishna das hai kabiraj aur goswami hai written chaitanya charitamrit the special life and history of sri chaitanya mahaprabhu this is direct indirect brahma brahma came from the natal lotus and he saw that actually well what or what what to do and thinking like this meditating at once from what of came a sound tap 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 and then it came began to do all the story but he could not saw anything after some time and your house came and in meditation he was hearing krishna words and that is called mool shiva bhagavata pat chatur shloki shiva bhagavata so like brahma one thing more krishna is so merciful He uses words that more merciful. So he said that my dear sons and daughters, so they forgotten. And in this world, Maya is giving so much suffering and so much cost. Same thing to Jivas. How I should help them? Then. That they should come and serve me and be happy for it. No birth and death, nothing there. And that is why Krishna comes sometimes himself. Sometimes he incarnation Ram Vishnu Nathalpi Baman Parshuram Buddha and also me. And sometimes he sends his special associates in this world. They are guru. After that, anyone, it is very hard, very rare that Krishna may come for you or he may associate. He associates may come sometimes in this world, and our guru may be madhama adhikari also. उत्तम अधिकारी बेस्ट लाइक नारद सुखदेव गोस्वामी लाइक व्यास एंड अदर्स बट इन केस दे आर नॉट अवेलेबल देन एनी मध्यम अधिकारी गुरु इनिशिएट्स बट ही इज नॉट लाइक बोबस गुरु सो हाई so we should treat him that my guru is as your source of krishna even he is madhyam adhikari no how by the mercy of krishna by serving him oh krishna will make me alive at least so madhyam adhikari also may be guru but we Don't think that my guru is a madhyam adhikari. 
they should think that my guru is Uttam Adhikari, S.E.O.C. Sarsak Krishna. So there are so many Vicharke uh, eh? aspects of Guru uh, consultation I told in brief. Now, Ekritan. Oh, Sudevi. Sudevi. Come on. And Ekritan. Can you sing Jadi Golden Nashita? You can sing it. No. You can sing it. 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 Namo Mahabhadanyaya Krishna Prema Pradayate Krishna Aya Krishna Chaitanya
and at the same time lamenting that he has come, but I'm not taking full uh, opportunity of his presence. Had Chaitanya Mahaprabhu not come to this world, what would have become of us? How could we have gone on living? What would have been the purpose of life? How could we have tolerated this body? Who could have ever known the summit of the glory of the love of Srimati Radhika? Srila Gurudev and his associates will explain the uh, four reasons why Sri Krishna came as Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to understand, I'm sorry, the three reasons to understand the nature of the love of Srimati Radhika, what relish Srimati Radhika experienced in himself that even he couldn't experience, and the happiness of her love, which was millions of times greater than his own happiness. He said, I am Purnananda Moy. The whole universe can drown in a drop of my love, a drop of my happiness. But I myself am overwhelmed and I forget who I am when I am controlled by the love of Srimati Radhika. So if Chaitanya Mahaprabhu had not come, who would have had the intelligence to enter into the uh, clever pastimes of Krishna and the gopis and the maidservants of Srimati Radhika? Sri Rupa Goswami has explained that one should remember not Krishna alone, but Krishna with the associates who are oceans of the mood for whom, for which we aspire. That ocean of that mood that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came to give and all of his Guru Parampara came to give up to our present Guru, as Gurudev said, and now we are coming in that line. That Unat Ojvalarasra Bhakti Sriya. He came to taste the love of Srimati Radhika and he came to give the very fortunate jivas the service of Srimati Radhika. Just as the beauty of a creeper is the leaves and flowers and manjaris, not a bare creeper wrapping around the tree. So the beauty, what makes the pastimes fulfilled, nourished and broadcast, that service Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came to give. So Nara Hari Das is uh, appealing that with a simple heart, free from duplicities, free from hypocrisy, as his disciple Srila Raghunath Das Goswami has prayed, O oh mind, please stop burning you and me by the trickling urine of the ass of full-blown deceit and hypocrisy. Rather, you should bathe me and yourself in the nectar of the glories of Gandharva and Giri Hari. So Narahari Das is saying that with a simple heart, chant the glories of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu over and over again. No one has ever been so compassionate as Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And his line is a manifestation of his mercy, an embodiment of his mercy. So then he laments. And he teaches us how to lament into the prayers of our previous acharyas. That is, even though he has come and he's so merciful and he's come to give the greatest benediction, I think that I'm so unfortunate that the creator, the secondary creator Brahma, has not given me a heart, but he's given me a stone instead of a heart. And that's why even though the trees and stones are melting, I cannot melt. I can appreciate, therefore I am being punished by the constable of death, Yamaraj. Or Premanandi.
Nesta do Harikata. No! I think that so many hundreds of devotees may, may come in the night. So, I think they should also avail our classes. So, we are giving rest to Harikata and you should come positively and five before five and then I will come. Go Pramante! Hare Krishna. I am requesting our God brother and God sister Please keep some pace here in the front. Some disciple of Srila Bhaktan Sai Maharaj, by Kodishtamasan Prabhu Jiva Bhavana Prabhu, sitting behind, that very shy to come in front, not only to others. I request my god brother and god sister to keep some place in the front that they can sit in front. And another announcement there are so many sannasis and others. Every day will be class 7 a.m. 10.30 a.m. and 3 p.m. then go there class. So in afternoon class must, Kirtan must be start at 4 p.m. So the Gurda will come here before 5. So I am requesting you all be present here before 5. Hare Krishna. Come tomorrow. Hare Krishna. On behalf of the devotees who have organized this, I want to welcome all of you. We're very, very happy that so many devotees have come here to hear the nectar of Shiva Gurudev's lotus lips and become enlightened and nourished and nurtured for the next time that we meet again with Shiva Gurudev. So for the schedule, it will start tomorrow morning. Of course, tonight, every one of you will have to find a place some of you have already found and being properly situated, others be in touch with the devotees at the reception and those who have time, offer your help. Yeah, a lot of help is necessary this day particularly so that everything will be properly situated and everyone is ready to focus completely on the, pro the program. Tonight there will be prasadam in the prasadam hall. I don't know where it's right here behind. On the wall there will be the schedule of the classes and the programs that are going on. Tomorrow morning class at 7 o'clock will be given by Pudipat, Bhakti Vedanta, Mother Paras. Yeah. We want all of you to come and attend the class. So for that we need tonight some help after Prashadam to clean up the Prashadam hall. Yeah, if volunteers are available please contact Lila Purishatan Prabhu and others who are involved with management or just roll up your sleeves and help clean the Prashadam Hall tonight. Hare Krishna.